Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hope everyone's well. Um, I've just received a package today. Um, it's for my birthday. And um, I've been wanting to pick one of these up for a while, but um, that was unavailable. I mean, they came out uh, back in 2008, I think. Um, so, uh, Fender have just re-released this. It's highly sought after. I mean, after the first day, I was having a lot of difficulty trying to find one. Um, the second day, Fender had actually ran out and they're waiting for more to come in. I was lucky enough to find a uh, guitar guitar. Yeah, I'll just turn this around. Like that uh, uh, guitar, is that backwards? Yeah, uh, from guitar guitar. There you go. They had two in stock. Um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and uh, a small review in this video. Yes, so let's start. Uh, I'm so looking forward to it. Right then, I'll uh, put the camera on the stand and uh, we'll carry on the video. Okay, so let's uh, get this box open. Um, this was stuck on here like that, my receipt. Lovely, got a receipt. <coughs> There's uh, a couple of digs in this box, so I hope it hasn't done any damage. The back, the back also seems to have gas here. Like I said, let's see, hopefully there's no damage to it. These guitars are coming up at £1,300, £1,300 brand new, you get a, uh, not really happy with it really, I'll be honest with you, the, uh, the soft case, so I'm going to look to buy a hard case for it. Right, let's have a look what colour we got. Now, this is the limited edition. Mexican made Fender, not Squire, Tom DeLong. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, look at this. Oh, gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. It has a Seymour Duncan SH8 in there, which is, uh, I bought the Invaders, which I have for my Telecaster, actually. I've, I've, oh. These are the Seymour Duncans I have in my Telecaster, um, just to bring that grunge rock heavy metal sound to a telly. And it's actually quite nice, really, really nice. Okay. Now, isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Has the Tom DeLong plate on the neck, made in Mexico. Lovely, beautiful. Okay, I'll probably give it a little setup just to um, to see what it's saying. I don't know if you can pick that up in the camera. Lovely. Can't see any marks on it. Just my fingerprints. Yeah. 
Okay, she's beautiful. Oh, I love the skunk stripe. Wish the neck was a little thicker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it me or did it come tuned? Yeah, not bad. Okay, let's get back to you in a sec. Look at this. Just so you can see that Seymour Duncan pickup. Beautiful. It's, yes, it has a 1970s headstock on there, which is nice. Vintage tuners. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay guys, just going to go through some of the, uh, oh, this is going through my Yamaha THR10, um, just hear some of the tones. <laughs> This is on clean. Um, the intonation needs to be set up a little bit. It does need a bit of a setup. The action is not bad. Actually, the action is quite good, actually. Um, yeah, the, the intonation could be dealt with. Um, but right, so I've got this going through clean, clean at the moment. it up then put it back in its bag back in the box and put away uh, these are so hard to find especially in this color Daphne blue uh, you may find the black one there's a lot of black ones around that there um, like I said I've got this from guitar guitar the only thing I'm a little bit concerned about and I'm gonna call guitar guitar and find out why is that there is no case candy 
in my <laughs> that came with it. No, who built it, or where it came from, serial numbers, uh, that kind of thing. So, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, let's put that gently away. If you've enjoyed the video, thumbs up. Take care. Okay, right. Um, I've just come off the phone with Guitar Guitar, and they are saying that Fender do not no longer supply case candy or a CLD, a, a certificate of authenticity. Um, is it CLD? Certificate of or COA? Yes, yeah, sorry. And um, like the, the limited editions and American-made ones, yeah, they come in the case and stuff. But the Mexican-made that apparently the past couple of years they've not been making any certificates of uh, of uh, excuse me any certificates of authenticity so um that's a bummer i like to have all my case candy in in there i i like all that stuff so um it's kind of peed me off a little bit but it is what it is and um still doesn't distract from the guitar is absolutely amazing um they i mean the thing with with that tom delong guitar is that fender notified me a day or two ago and uh, that they had them and they were you know they were up for sale 1300 pounds i was humming and hiring that evening shall i shall i not you know my birthday's coming up and blah 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 and i'm like I'll leave it, I'll leave it. Anyway, woke up the next day and I said, you know what? I've wanted one, you know. I've built three, by the way, um, that are similar and excellent tones. Uh, but here's my fake Tom DeLong that I built. That blue one there. It is absolutely amazing. The sound on it really kicks out. Uh, real high output, I think 14.5K. Um, and this is my... American telly uh, they're not left hand they're right handed uh, but if you can see that this has a SHA on the bridge and another SHA on the neck these are invader pickups from Seymour Duncan and I also customized it with a freeway not as in three as in free one two three and then you can pop it up there which then what what happen, what happens is it's like a core tap so um but yes yeah, i'm diverting on what i was saying which was originally there is no case candy with these guitars no um certificate to show it's genuine and whatnot so um guys i hope you enjoyed this video take care uh peace and love i hope you enjoy your guitaring all your kids that are learning over the summer, because it's summer, summer holidays at the moment, uh, but I'm still at work. So take care. Catch up with you guys soon. Bye-bye.